Now let's talk with two ministers who are in the audience for tonight discussion, tonight's discussion and ask some questions themselves. The Reverend Frank Page is the president of the Southern Baptist Convention, and the Reverend William Shaw is head of the National Baptist Convention, the largest association of African-American churches across the country. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. I just want to start by getting your threshold impression. You have the two Democratic candidates tonight. We hear them every day on the campaign trail, talking about the war in Iraq, about the economy, about taxes and health care. Today it was much more personal, faith. The role of God in issues, whether it be abortion, whether life begins at conception, does God have anything to do with AIDS? What is the role of faith in climate change? What are your impressions? I thought that both were very honest about uh, how the faith impacted their view on things. I didn't expect that they would have a common view on it because faith is such a personal thing and comes out of uh, such a, a varying background. Uh, but I thought that it was informative uh, that they could so speak. Southern Baptist Convention often associated with more conservative voters and the Democrats have had a problem reaching out to evangelicals, to more southern conservative voters. Inroads tonight, anything that impressed you, anything that disappointed you? Thank you, John. I, I do think that it was a good night. I think it was uh, honest on the part of both candidates. I disagreed with some of the things they said and, and I could have helped them with some of their answers if they had asked uh, because they uh, both admitted several times they simply didn't know. Uh, and yes, Southern Baptists have been associated with a more conservative evangelical group and certainly have been very strong in pro-life issues, which we agree with and hold to strongly. But I appreciated the honesty of both candidates. I appreciated them agreeing that faith does have a role and that we as faith people should speak up. And uh, even Hillary Clinton said it's our obligation to do so, and I appreciated that very much. How, how comfortable are you? We're in an election year, it's a hotly contested election, a hotly contested primary at the moment. They talk themselves about how sometimes, where is the line between faith, your personal faith, and politics? How comfortable are you? What do you think your role should be in a presidential campaign year? I think that the role of the faith community in any continuing setting in relationship with government uh, is to really challenge uh, what are the assumptions of government and government leaders in the light of the faith as we know it. Uh, and uh, that means not making uh, religious views a part of party planks because that presents a wedding of faith and political parties uh, that ought soon end in divorce uh, because the faith community ought come always as an objective viewing community uh, on the policies and platforms. The issue, for instance, was raised about when life begins is an issue uh, that uh, really is aimed towards uh, anti-abortion. I don't think that abortion as a policy should be acceptable, but I don't think that's the whole of morality uh, because the issue of when life begins needs to be coupled with how life is lived as it develops. And if there is strong uh, standing that life ought be protected at birth, and that needs to be equally strong standing that life ought to be protected, protected as it develops. The right to be born ought to be matched by the right to live. Reverend Page, I believe it was your question about the role of your organization in trying to fight AIDS in, in Africa. And, and you spoke about abstinence. Should abstinence be a role? What is the role of, of God in that? Was the answer from Senator satisfactory, number one? And number two, is that issue one where we say, hey, look, we might disagree on some things, whether we're Democrats or Republicans, whether we're Southern Baptists or, or Methodists or anything else. But here are some things, and there was praise of President Bush from the Democrats. Side. Here are some things where, you know what, let's set our differences aside and let's work together on these things. Well, first of all, to answer your question, John, I did think Senator Obama was very good in answering that question because he did agree that there is the aspect of faith and personal responsibility along with education and ministry toward HIV-AIDS persons. So I appreciated very much what he had to say about, for example, where there's promiscuity, that there needs to be responsibility taken in that particular area. So I felt very good about that and appreciated him being forthcoming in that particular area. And so, yes, there are times we're going to disagree. There are going to be times where we have uh, very strongly uh, varied opinions, and we can work together, and I appreciate that. I wish Senator McCain would have accepted the invitation to have come and been here also because this was a a nonpartisan event and I wish he would have come it would have been good to hear how he would have answered some of the same questions that was what I was going to ask in closing we're short on time but but what is to be gained by Senator McCain I'm asking the question backwards I suspect but what was to be gained by Senator McCain staying away uh, you'd have to ask Senator McCain that 
because I think he missed a great opportunity. They reach across the aisle. He mm -hmm. could have been here and reached. I wish sure. you would have. Mm -hmm. I've met with him personally and would uh, have welcomed to hear him answer some of these faith uh, and compassion oriented questions. Reverend Frank Page, Reverend William Shaw, thank you both for your time tonight, thank gentlemen. You, thank thank you, you for participating in the forum. Thank you both very much.